in my opinion, the best way to hang your holiday lights up on your house is to use plastic clips. The main thing about plastic clips is there is little, if any, impact on the structure. You don't have to put screws or staples or anything in your house. Most homeowners just love that. Now, uh, as far as ideal applications, gutters. Regardless of the type of uh, structure you have, whether it's brick, stucco, wood, vinyl, steel, whatever, gutters are perfect for these clips because so many of these clips are made to just pinch onto the gutter and they come right back off when it's time to remove real easy. Now gutters that have gutter guard whether it's the mesh type guard or the newer type of gutter guard, leaf guard that has this sort of swooping thing that covers the top. Um, that's a whole different story. Again, we'll cover that here in a minute. But generally speaking, um, gutters, particularly open gutters, are just, you know, the plastic clips are just made for that. Uh, another ideal application is along a gabled roof. When I say a gabled roof, for those of you who don't know what that means, that's this part of the roof. Oftentimes it's above your garage where you can see the roof shingles on edge here. And you know, you got your fascia board and up underneath there your soffit. But what we're talking about is just clipping right here into the roof shingles, just pinching into it. Now there are some exceptions when you have roof tile that's made of the, uh, the thicker stuff, the clay roof tile or the cement or fiberboard where it's really thick the clips don't bite onto it as well because they're opened up and they're biting on what is usually a slick surface. You know, those clay towels are really uh, uh, slick. They, they, there's nothing for it to really bite on. And so, different situation there, you have to go with a different hanging technique. Another ideal application for plastic clips is vinyl or steel siding. And that is because of all the J-channel they use all around the doors and windows. We've talked about this already. But there's just tons of places where you can grab on to the vinyl structure and it's always around the edge of something because when you put up vinyl siding you have to put up special pieces on the edges. Another thing that's really nice about plastic clips is they're basically really easy to remove. They, they snap right back off in most cases. The only real disadvantage to plastic clips is that it's another expense. Uh, the type that I like costs probably about 14 cents a piece and they don't last forever. They will break sometimes, particularly as they age and they sit in the sun for a long time. Uh, the UV light does break down the plastic, makes it brittle, and then they snap pretty easy. And so you'll have to rebuy these, repurchase these plastic clips, depending upon which kind you get, um, from time to time. You know, there are probably maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 different types of clips that you see out there. Um, probably about four or five of them are more common, or more commonly used, I should say. Um, here in a minute we'll review each one, but uh, you do have different choices. Most of them are completely plastic. There are a few of them that um, have some metal, like it's a, there's a little nail with a plastic clip built in, or you uh, screw down a piece of the plastic clip, maybe connect another piece to it, or you just have plastic clips that are meant to permanently install by screwing them in place, and then you leave behind the plastic clip when you're done at the end of the season. So there's a few different ways to go, and we'll go over that in the next video.